Dump that comic book. The team's coming over. What team? The Soviet basketball team. Yeah, uh, you know that Roman and Webster have been handling their Indiana appearance. Right? Yeah. So their manager, before they went back to Russia, wanted them to see how a typical American family lives. <sighs> Why'd they pick us? Hey, we're a typical American family. A divorced mother of two, a 20-year-old daughter who still lives at home, and a displaced teenager from Chicago. <laughs> it's the best I got. Just straighten up, Alex, and try to act typical. <laughs> Miss R, yeah. what do you say to a six-foot rebound specialist who dribbles in Russian? <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it. One of them speaks English. Aha, uh -huh, okay, here we go. Zdrasti. Gesundheit. <laughs> Alex, Zdrasti is Russian for hello. Oh. Zdrasti. 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 <laughs> Hi. Zdrasti. <laughs> yeah, uh, please, come on in. Uh, please, sit down. Strasti. Uh, please. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, Mr. Kalinsky. Uh, hi. I, I hope you didn't have any trouble finding the place. We get instructions from Bell Jump. Hop. 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 Bell, Bell hop. hop. Right. He said drive four block and hang right. The three signals and hang left. Then go straight and don't hang nothing. <laughs> We get lost, so we leave car and take taxi, and we are here. Oh, well, I am glad you're here. I really... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, everyone, I'd like you to meet Alex. <laughs> uh, Alexa, uh, this is a nice name. Your voice would... Alexa. Oh, Alexa. Strasty. Oh, Strasty. That's good. Uh, Mr. Kalinsky, why don't you sit down? Oh, huh. <laughs> a very nice apartment here. How many live here? Oh, just three. Three families. That's nice. <laughs> no, not three families. Uh, three people. Oh. Tolka, three, Chiledetka, Vietu, Vishuz, Asakari. Uh, three people. Hi. <laughs> oh, this is my daughter, Barbara. <laughs> well, uh, let me see if I can do this, sweetheart. Uh, this is Mr. Kalinsky. Hello. Oh, uh, this is Lara. Ochin Priyadna. Tamara. Trusty. Olga. Hello. Lydia. Trusty. And Irina. I did it. Oh, Ochin Priyadna. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Olga, can, can I ask you a question? Da. Do you like being a giant girl? <laughs> To be tall, uh, it's difficult to find all the way tall men. Uh, sometimes I wishing I run, like Mrs. Romano. <laughs> I think something wrong. Run is not the right word. You mean short. Uh, that's okay. Runt's used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there, Miss Romano. I uh, got your electric toothbrush fixed. This is Schneider. <laughs> Thank you, God. <laughs> and all the saints in heaven. Ah, uh, Schneider is the building superintendent. Oh, superintendent. At that. Commandant. Oh, oh commandant. That's the commandant. commandant. You're not from around here, are you? <laughs> Schneider, they're from Russia. Yeah, they're all basketball players. I told you about it weeks ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, but when you said Russian lady athletes, I was expecting Gorilla City. <laughs> Would you like to see the rest of the apartment? With the permission of this superintendent. Oh, yeah. Yavol, be my getsky, my getsky. Ah, uh, please. Uh, okay. uh, it's the dining area and the, the kitchen right in there. You can see it's all one room, really. Come in here. Thank you. Hi. Hello, superintendent. <laughs> you can uh, you can call me Dwayne. Of course, a lot of women call me Super. <laughs> I am Olga Fyodorovna Dimirova. Yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> uh, Olga, would you mind doing me a favor? 
I have a little crick in my neck. So you could either pick me up <laughs> or we could sit down. Oh, we sit. Yeah. <clears throat> it's better. Oh, yeah, it's better, yeah. <laughs> it's a strange thing. You remind me of a famous person in my country, great movie star Kier Shashmotunovsky. Oh, yeah, I love his work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll never forget him in the night they raided Minsk. Oh, oh, <laughs> his joke. Little joke, yeah. Smotunovsky is a very handsome man. You also very handsome man. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, yes, I have my moments. I guess. <laughs> Your wife is a lucky woman. Oh, no, 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 I'm not married. <laughs> oh. I was married, but she disappeared. It's too bad. She says something against government. No, no, no. No, she just got up one morning, hot-wired my truck and took off. Oh. Why are you looking at me like that? Well, you know, Olga, you're, uh, you're really a very beautiful woman and, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless, I'm overwhelmed. I mean, what does a guy say to a lady like you? Kak tam pagado. Kak tam What does that mean? It means, how is the weather up there? <laughs> You know, you really... Hey, I got an idea. Let's go down to my place. I'll boil a cabbage. I'm um, um, sorry. I cannot. Well, it's, it's not the food, really. It's, it's, you know, I mean, it's you and me. I mean, we just, we just met, you know, and I really think that we should, we should get to know one another a lot better. I must remain at all times with the team. You want me to bring four other girls? <laughs> That'd be over 30 feet of women. <laughs> Probably get a call from that's incredible. <laughs> Tell you what, uh, how about tomorrow night? Tomorrow we fly home. Oh. Well, I mean, that's not fair, damn it. We just met. It's also for me not fair, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having strong feelings. Thank you, Mrs. Romano, for this wonderful journey into your apartment. But we must leave. We have calisthenics to do before we pack for the trip. Okay. Scusi, do svidanie, oh. spasiba. Do svidanie. Do svidanie. Do Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Ciao. Yes, thank you. Oh. oh Goodbye, my. Mrs. Romano. Goodbye, Olga. <laughs> Barbara. Little Alexei. And Duvain. <laughs> Two ships that pass in the night. I think you just broke the record for detente. <laughs> It's me, Olga. Olga? <laughs> Just a minute, Olga. Uh, uh, just a second, dear. Uh... Hi, Olga. Come on in. Come on in. What are you doing here? <laughs> now, who the hell cares? This is for you, alone? Oh, yeah, all this, yeah. yeah. Let me <laughs> let me give you a guided tour, Olga. Uh, it's the living room, there's the den, there's the kitchen, there's the dining room. <laughs> I can't believe that you're here. <laughs> it does not bother you that I am tall? No, no, not not at all. I mean, you're you're so feminine and and fragile and and alluring. And you're here. You're here. <laughs> well, I, I should not be, but I am in the bed. I am seeing your face so sad when you say sheeps that pass in the night. 
Everybody is asleep, so I, I'm sneaking to a taxi cab and I'm here. That's terrific. Uh, Would you do me a favor? Uh, Would you take off your shoes? <laughs> oh, you rascal. <laughs> Right one didn't want to come off. <laughs> oh, look at this. You got a little uh, cleft in your chin there. Uh, I got a good idea. Hmm. <clears throat> Would you like to dance? Well, it's my pleasure. Just a little something I learned from Arthur Murray. Arthur Murray? Uh-huh. He invented the Fox Trotsky. <laughs> it's enchanting. Yeah. And so are you. You still have to go home? I must. Uh, that's too bad. You know what I'd like to do? I would have loved jump into my camper, you know, I have a camper, and we drive and drive and drive, and, and I show you all the natural wonders of this country, you know, the Grand Canyon, Okefenokee Swamp, Atlantic City. It sounds so wonderful. Yeah, I know. You only have tonight. Yes. Be gentle. <laughs> Knuckles in an uproar. All right. Good morning, Miss Romano. Why don't you come in? <laughs> All right, what's the problem? Terrific, Casanova. You knew that I was responsible for that woman, but did that bother you? No. You just wanted another notch on your tool belt. All right, don't get your blood in a boil. Now, what are you talking about? I am talking about Olga de Marova. Oh, that's... Some classy lady. I'm going to miss her. Not for long, Schneider. She's upstairs. What upstairs? In my apartment. She wants to defect and marry you. <laughs> she wants to... Oh, that's crap. What are you going to do? <laughs> Me, silver tongue. Schneider, if she defects, it's going to cause an international incident. Well, what... Well, we were just, we were just two ships that passed in the night and hung a U-turn. <laughs> what does this have to happen to me? To you? Have you thought about her for even a minute? I mean, defecting, that's a major life choice. What about her family, her career? You're right. You're absolutely right. Oh, you should have never brought them here. <laughs> Schneider, that plane leaves in one hour and five minutes, and she has got to be on it, and an explanation must be made to Kalinsky. I'm gonna send her down here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, what am I gonna tell her? Oh, I know. The authorities found my wife and my truck. <laughs> she wants to take custody of the spare tire. I got it. Okay. Schneider, have you ever thought about being honest? With a woman? <laughs> What a wild idea. Oh. <laughs> Here I am, your little Petrushka Petrutikins. <laughs> Whatever that means. Oh, that's a friend. Well, Petrutikins, good friend. <clears throat> Mrs. Romano say you have to see me. Yeah, I, uh, I do. We have to talk, uh, Olga. We, uh... We have something very important to talk about. You sleep okay? <laughs> no. I watch you all night long. I think, I cry, 
This thinking, I cannot stop. Then, uh, when I am at the hotel, I am packing, and finally, I decide. Olga, when I said that <clears throat> we had a talk, I meant me. I don't think I will ever forget some of the things you said last night. Neither will I. <laughs> you said, be impulsive. You said, I'm only going around once. So, okay, Dwayne. I'm grabbing for the gusto. Ah, <laughs> uh, listen, Olga, I had a terrific time last night. What? So did I. Did not Mrs. Romano tell you uh, that I wish to defect to your country? I will be Mrs. Dwayne F. Fyodorovna Dimirova Schneider. <laughs> it has a nice ring, no? You are having maybe a second thought. No, 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 I'm no, I'm not, no, I'm not having, here, sit down for a minute, would you please? I'm not having any second thoughts. The thing is, Olga, that your first thought and my first thought were not exactly the same first thought, okay? <laughs> oh, okay, I may have said a few things last you night. You said you never knew a girl like Olga before. Well, that's true, six foot four and a left-handed layup, I mean. <laughs> Forever, okay, I did say for Now let's take a look, that's a tricky word. Forever is a tricky word. Uh, and now forever, okay, or oh, Valentine's. In Valentine's they use the word forever, but if you notice each year you have to send a brand new Valentine. <laughs> so, a hug forever. I mean, you said some things last night you didn't exactly mean. I mean, you said that I had the muscles of a Greek god. <laughs> oh, okay, all right, let's find something not quite so true. <laughs> I guess I am just a big fool. You're not a big fool, okay? No, you're not. You're a sensational lady. If we had a little more time, who knows? I mean, maybe one day, okay? Maybe one day I'll be able to come to your country. Russia could use a good handy, man. Nothing works over there. <laughs> How you hear that? Well, I mean, that's common knowledge. You know what I mean? A guy like me, I mean, I could really go places in a backward country. <laughs> Backward? Backward? You hear of Yuri Gagarin? He'll go kick up a green bay, right? First man into space. Oh, Yuri, Yuri Gagarin, yeah. Also, we have first woman into space. Hey, listen, don't, you know, don't get excited. Russia's got a lot of nice things. I mean, they got vodka, they got salad dressing. Yeah, Russian dressing. <laughs> and we have no unemployment. Well, that's because if you're out of work, you gotta go dance in the ballet, everybody. <laughs> For you, Russia would be big surprise. It's a beautiful country. Uh, you like out of doors? We got your own mountains. Yeah? Yeah? Well, we got the Rocky Mountains, okay? The Rocky Mountains. Great, jagged, snow-covered peaks, right? Busting through the sky, right? There's nothing like them, huh? You hear of Volga River? As long as the entire United States from New York to California. Yeah? Well, we got amber waves of grain. <laughs> got them too, but it's mostly ours. <laughs> oh, you Americans think you have found the answer? Well, if we haven't found the answer, at least we're not afraid of the question. Thanks! Huh? I mean it. Thanks a lot for making me realize how much I'm loving my country. I want to go home. Right, you do want to go home. <laughs> Be it ever so humble, and I'm really, I'm very happy for you, Olga. I'm not going. Huh? <laughs> Too late. I want to, but I cannot. They sent me to Siberia. You know what it's like in Siberia? It's barren, desolate, a wasteland. Yeah, I know. We got Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? We got less than an hour. If you don't get on that plane, it's going to be my fault. Dwayne, it's maybe not you. Last night was my last night in America. Last chance to defect. Do you not see, Dwayne, with you, I was, how you say, maybe clutching at a straw? A straw? <laughs> right. So, you feeling better? Clutching at a straw? <laughs> Did you not wonder a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and you're... You're very young and you're beautiful and, uh, sure, I, I mean, you're a world-class athlete, uh, clutching on a straw. 
Dwayne, you helped me. Just knowing you made me, made me want to leave your country. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks a lot. Right now, our problem is getting you on that airplane, all right? Ah, oh, Kolinsky's come for me. Now, just a second. You're on American soil. Ain't nothing going to happen to you here. Now, just relax. What do you want, Kolinsky? It's me, Schneider. Oh, Alex. <laughs> what do you want? Elevator stuck again. Give me a break, will you? I got a lady defecting in here. I got an elevator defective out there. I got the answer. Come in here. What hotel are you staying at? In the Belvedere. The Belvedere. The Belvedere. The Belvedere. Yeah. Look up Belvedere. Call Kalinsky. Why me? Because, as you can see, Miss Demiroff is here, is stuck in the elevator, right? And, and Commandant Schneider is nowhere to be found. You call Kalinsky. You tell him exactly what I said, right? Tell him to get his Bolshevik butt over here. Uh, yeah. Um, Mr. Kalinsky's room, please. Stuck in elevator, okay, but what I'm doing here in the first place? Well, in the first... Oh, you left your pocketbook upstairs yesterday, right. Uh, Kolinsky will not believe... He's gonna believe it because you're gonna be. It's gonna be true. You're gonna be stuck in the elevator, and I'm gonna be nowhere to be found. Okay, thank you. Bye. Okay, Kolinsky's on his way. So what's the caper, Chief? All right, it'll probably take Kolinsky 11 minutes to get over here. We give him five minutes to fool around at the elevator and convince himself that nobody can fix it. Nobody? Except one courageous man armed with nothing more than a paper clip and a ball-peen hammer. Okay, <laughs> I will show up, huh? I will get you out of that elevator. I'll get you out of that elevator in two minutes flat. Actually, I think I can beat two minutes flat. My best time is about 1.56.5. You get over there, you get to the elevator. Okay. It'll take him three minutes to get down to the car, 22 minutes to the airport. We can do it. No sweat. Boy, I figure it. We got about two or three minutes to spare. Two or three minutes? <laughs> Dwayne Eve Schneider. Thank you very much. <laughs> you were saying? Thank you. <laughs> 